first one I ever went to was like some version of the Beach Boys playing like an outdoor festival. I was very young. I don't know if that counts. I'm not sure what was my first teenage festival. One of them was seeing Coldplay off their first record, like, and no one was there. Or like, I mean, there were some people, but it was it wasn't sold out. It wasn't that crowded. And then of course they like blew up. And I remember. I, the reason I went to the show was because I heard their album at a listening station at Tower Records when I was like 12 or something. Yeah, that is crazy. To be honest, I wasn't like super into music growing up emotionally, you know, and like it took me getting like onto the creative side of it to, to understand that. And then I was like, oh, this is really complicated and extremely nuanced. I was hearing all this hip hop that I love that was like, super political and really complicated and really interesting and progressive. Some of the big records for me, big artists are Outkast is like an all-time all -time favorite and I think they've always been outside of a genre and always incredibly original and unique. So I love them, I'm a huge Tribe fan. I was so stoked they put out new music. I love Dizzy Rascal, I love J. Cole, I love Kendrick. Am I supposed to be doing something while we're talking? Okay. This is hard to do. Hold on. Okay, I've opened it. I'm gonna pick out the hearts while I talk. Um, my album's good. Uh, it came out two months ago, so it's still, it's still pretty new. It's nice to have it out in the world. It's definitely more in a like alternative rock, indie rock space than some of my other stuff. So that's, that's a little bit different, and I think people kind of never really know what to expect with me just because I'm just always kind of out there doing something weird. So that, that's maybe the only thing, but otherwise I think people like it. I don't know. I'm going to have to put this down, though, to do the stickers. Okay, sticker break! You know what is very sad and yet happy news? I'm officiating one of my best friend's weddings this weekend. So I am leaving, like, I'm leaving immediately after my set. We're actually like super bummed because this, I feel like this festival has a great lineup and I want to see a lot of people. And even tonight, like, I really wanted to see Glass Animals, who I've seen a few times and love. But it's good, you know, marriage and love. You don't need to believe in marriage to like enjoy a wedding. A wedding is kind of beautiful, period. Okay, I finished it. That's a cute ass photo. I have a lot of nicknames. One is Flazy Bone. That's my Bone Thugs and Harmony name. 